Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shima and this is In Plain Sight Tarot and I'm back with another video for you guys, another post for you guys. Um, I feel like I owe um, all of you uh, a little apology and an explanation to where I've been in the past like four months. I think I've been away for about four months according to YouTube. Um, I have moved. Uh, as you can see, I've moved and I've, uh, I've settled in nicely and um, a lot of things, a lot of shifts have been happening in my life and everything's great, everything's wonderful and I am ready and able to get back to my channel. Um, I also started singing again. I, have, I haven't been, um, I haven't been, you know, putting my readings to the side. I've actually been doing a lot of uh, tarot events um, outside of my channel. Um, yeah, and it's been fun. It's been exciting. I've met a lot of new people. Um, so much has happened. And uh, if you watch my readings, you'll know that some of these stories will come out throughout the readings. So yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> and uh, thank you so much for all of you who have been supporting my channel up until now. And um, yeah, let's get straight into the reading, you guys. So let's get into the piles. I'm going to be using these uh, Crystal Spirit, the, the Crystal Spirit deck as toppers. Okay, I lost my other deck, the one that I was supposed to be using <laughs> as toppers um, from the last pick a card reading that I posted, which was about four months ago. I lost that deck during my move, so yeah, just wasn't meant to be. Maybe it will turn up somehow, just not today, apparently. So, one more shuffle. We're only, uh, we're only gonna do two piles today. And did I say, yeah, this is just gonna be general readings. We're gonna see what comes out. Um, yeah, so two piles for today, for tonight. Two piles. Pile number one, Labradorite. Labradorite, Labradorite, okay. Pile number one, Labradorite. I'll, I'll, as usual, I'll have these cards up on screen for you while you choose. And then pile number two, we have Lemurian Quartz, okay? So, take your time choosing your piles. And once you're ready, you can go ahead and choose your timestamps down below as usual. Um, in my description box. Oh my god, I miss doing this. Um, so yeah. <laughs> um, pile number one. Okay, let's get straight into pile number one. Pile number one. You chose Labradorite. 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 Lab Someone here could have a Labrador dog. Okay. Someone here is very psychic, very in tune, very tuned in, tapped in, turned on. Someone here is a powerful manifester. I think the Labradori is also uh, a stone that has to do with psychic abilities. It enhances psychic abilities when you meditate with Labrador, La Labradorite. I can't see it. Labradorite. I just heard Doritos. Okay, someone could be eating Doritos at the moment or just finished eating a pack of Doritos or about to go buy some at the grocery store. Maybe you're listening to me, you know, in the background and you're eating <laughs> Doritos. This is just your confirmation. Mm, rad. Rad. I'm being drawn to the, the rad. So someone here likes to say rad. Okay, or you're dealing with someone who likes to say rad. You're rad. Okay, I'm also hearing lab rat for some reason. So, um, 
scientist someone here could be a scientist someone here could be a researcher someone here could be a seeker i'm hearing a seeker some, someone who does a lot of research don't necessarily have to be a scientist but maybe you know when 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 i think of lab rats you know um <laughs> and when i think of i don't know why I'm, I'm hearing like the law of assumption i'm my own lab rat when it comes to you know um maneuvering uh the manifestation world <laughs> okay being aware of being uh, powerful conscious creators right so I see myself as a lab rat so this person whoever it is that I'm speaking to maybe you too are using yourself as a lab rat um, in your own experiment um, in regards to manifesting or yeah okay <laughs> some of you could be trying to manifest a physical change Okay, I'm seeing, I'm seeing uh, like a physical change, like a glow up. That's what I'm hearing. Someone here is manifesting a glow up, and you're definitely, um, you're definitely uh, glowing up. You're going to be glowing up. I'm hearing uh, work with the fairies. <laughs> That's what I just heard. Work with the fairies if you want to glow up. Okay, work with the fairies with the fairy realm if you want to grow, grow up, grow, <laughs> glow up. Okay. I'm seeing sunsets now, okay? Um, maybe it's evening time where you are right now and you're listening to me and it's a very nice evening where you are at. Someone here is very at peace with where they're at. I like it. Someone here has curly hair. Someone here has wavy hair, thick wavy hair, okay? Someone here is very at peace. Someone here is from India, I'm hearing India. I'm also hearing northern countries, like more colder countries, Russia. I'm hearing Russia, I'm hearing, uh, uh, why am I hearing all these countries? If I'm gonna like list out all the countries, like okay, I'm hearing Kazakhstan, I'm hearing all the stands, Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan. Uh, what what else, um, I can't, those are the, the ones I'm hearing right now. Um, northern um maybe even uh yeah you're live maybe you live in a cold country and you're you're trying to manifest a glow up and you're maybe you're manifesting travels maybe you're manifesting uh wanting to to travel to a warmer country uh somewhere where there's really nice sunsets or there's a really nice view of the evening sky that's what i'm hearing so when i think of really nice evening skies or really pretty gorgeous evening skies i don't know why i'm i'm thinking of japan i'm thinking of more uh yeah uh japan warmer countries okay mm. asian countries Someone here is trying to migrate. Okay, wow. okay. So I'm getting a lot. Maybe someone here is wearing green earrings too. I'm hearing like green, green uh, earrings, right? Okay. All right. So what's going on with you? Should what should we? Okay, I'm going in with Oracle straight away. Dory fish. Someone here just eat dory fish. I just heard dory fish. Rites of passage. I just heard rites of passage. I just heard tea too. Some people are wondering like what you're up to. Some people are very curious. Oh, what you're up to wow look at you pile number one happiness look at that okay so we have happiness straight off the bat yeah as i was saying someone here is very at peace where they're at you are in the vibration of just being happy happiness you're just you're just good you're just great <laughs> and you're feeling really confident okay confident you are blessed. That's what I'm hearing. 
you're feeling very blessed. I'm seeing green earrings or green pendants, okay? There is a fi fire. You are a fire sign, okay? You could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, so this band is from Mongolia, so Mongolia, I just heard Mongolia. I don't know how to pronounce the title. You you can find if you if you're <laughs> if you guys are um, interested in my Spotify playlist, like a lot of you guys are commenting, like asking me about my playlist, you can find it all in the description box, okay? And we have movement, wow, gorgeous. Pile number one, you are in a great place at the moment. Ideation, yes, exactly. You are, you're like churning a lot of uh, ideas. You've got a lot of ideas under your belt. I'm hearing you've got a lot of things going on for you. You've got a lot of things that you want to accomplish and you're excited. And I'm hearing, I'm going to have my cake and eat it too. <laughs> I'm going to have my cake and eat it too. And also, I'm going to share my cake too. I want to share my cake. I'm going to have my cake and eat it too. And I want to share my cake. That's what I just heard. This is great. This is absolutely gorgeous energy. Pal. Number... One. I was going to say pile number two, so maybe you guys are, uh, you know, you, you want to watch both pals. Um, I'm being drawn to this card for some reason. I keep, I keep looking at those two green things. They're not things. They're they're <laughs> the Labradorite crystal, but yeah, they're they're like this greenish color. I'm seeing the blue and green of the Labradorite. The sea. I'm hearing the sea. Yeah, I'm hearing seaweed. I'm hearing seaweed. Someone could be snacking on seaweed. Ideation. You have a lot of ideas <clears throat> at this time. You have, you have a lot of ideas at this time. <coughs> <coughs> You're going to have to speak up about them. You have a lot of suppressed ideas, that's what I'm hearing. But you're, you're confident in making movement in all these ideas that you have not necessarily suppressed or put them to the side. It's 111 mm, right now, so it could be 111 where you are watching or I'm also hearing that you might be seeing 111 a lot and also 1111 1111 oh my god okay I'm gonna have to find my deck. Hold on. Where'd it go? I thought I brought it out. I'm gonna use this one. Right. something that I'm just picking up on. I just feel good at the moment. And I know I'm picking up on your energy. I mean, I feel good too. I feel good too. <laughs> but I feel like it's amplified for some reason. This energy is like amplified. And I love it. Okay. So, <laughs> wow. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Gorgeous pile number one. Ace of Pentacles. Oof. Okay, so we have Seven of Swords. Oh my goodness, we have the tower. Okay. <laughs> What's this? Five of Swords. Bottom of the deck. 
all right I'm getting like a deeper okay so I'm going on to now I'm looking at the 3d at this time like what's going on on the 3d maybe you don't know what's going on outside of you right now maybe you're just so focused on yourself maybe you don't even want to know what's going on uh, outside of you but <clears throat> maybe you do you know <laughs> maybe you do maybe there's like this nagging feeling within your within you that's like what's gonna happen next you know and that's why you're tuning into this reading maybe um, you're not gonna see what's gonna happen next you're just being asked to be confident with the okay first of all we're gonna look at the happiness and the ace of pentacles something <coughs> is already happening for, for you it is already happening for you you have your hands your 5d hands are on the ace of pentacles your 5d hands are already touching it you your your higher self is already experiencing this amazing thing that's coming in for you you know so be happy for that like like absolutely celebrate that like already celebrate it celebrate the fact that your higher self is already celebrating or enjoying whatever this is this ace of pentacles here and it's going to be huge because happiness and the ace of pentacles <laughs> it's gonna make you really really happy it's it's gonna make you so happy that you know you're you're calm about it though like you you it's almost like you yeah i expected this you know i knew this could this is gonna happen <laughs> i knew this is gonna happen but there's something about <clears throat> yeah, there's there's this nagging feeling with the seven of swords and uh, Confidence, okay, it could be that you might be a little bit nervous about something you're you're nervous. There's there's a nervousness, okay um, And your thoughts are lying to you if you if there are thoughts that are making you nervous those thoughts tell tell yourself you're you're lying I I, I don't subscribe to those thoughts anymore that are making you nervous because whatever is making you nervous is starting up here in your thoughts okay and with movement and the tower here <laughs> you're just gonna do it there's something about you're just gonna make a move out of nowhere you're just gonna do it you're good you're gonna feel that flow and it's not gonna be like a tower moment like like with lightning thunder and all this it's not that it's it's like a um it's like an epiphany you know it's like an epiphany it's like a light bulb moment that's what it is my god has a telephone i hear it ringing in the morning so yeah you're you're in direct connection with spirit right now you're in you're so in flow that that means you're just absolutely in flow you're in flow state okay and there's something that you do not see coming you don't see coming and you're just going to take action on it but you know don't let your nervousness or your nervous thoughts or your anxiety or thinking of all the ways <laughs> that this could go wrong or yeah you know this could be another way around i'm hearing this could be like someone Someone here wants to offer you something that's going to make you really happy, but this person thinks that it's not going to make you happy. They, they think that it's not going to be something that you um, want. Or, yeah, some someone here thinks that you don't want what they have to offer. They're going to come in with the offer, and they, they're trying to get their confidence up. You know but I think when this person comes towards you they might have like this fake confidence on and you might pick up on it but be <laughs> be compassionate with this person it's taking them a lot to just make movement and this movement is gonna come out of absolutely nowhere okay movement and uh, the tower and we have the five of swords with under ideation they are so conflicted with all these ideas that they have um, and this again I'm hearing like this could be you this could be you you're conflicted with what to start with first or you're excited to uh, once this thing comes in this download or this epiphany or a lot of ideas are going to be sparked up because of whatever this realization is okay 
And then, I think whoever this is, and it's this may be you or someone that you're dealing with, um, they're afraid of creating a um, <laughs> I mean chaos, creating chaos uh, with the people around them at the moment. Um, and they're trying to look for ideas or look for ways or to strategize a way that everyone, I'm hearing like a win-win situation for everyone or uh, yeah, that's what I'm hearing, a win-win situation for everyone. Um, also being diplomatic, I'm hearing diplomatic because with the, these two faces here on the Five of Swords, you know, it's like two, one person talking to two parties, you know, yeah, that's what I'm hearing. It's like one person talking to two parties. So this could be anything, you guys, like, because this is a general reading, right? It could be families, between families or between your parents, you know, there's two people that you might have to uh, pacify. <laughs> I'm hearing pacify, but, oh my God, look at this, Ten of Pentacles is going to bring you a lot of abundance, whatever this is. Okay? Whether it's a relationship, whether you are about to approach someone uh, for a relationship, right? For to, to make something stable, right? Or to make to 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 <laughs> lock you down, I'm hearing. Okay. Yeah, there's something about having to pacify different parties here. But um, I'm hearing like there is a win-win situation for all there is but you must strategize there's something about you having to strategize the king of swords and the king of pentacles look at that strategizing okay how to <laughs> how to I guess you know uh, discuss something between two parties and you're in between and then being able to I don't know, maybe pacify people with money even. It's not saying that I'm asking you to bribe anyone. No, it's it's more like I'm hearing gift giving, okay? <laughs> I just heard that gift giving, okay? Um yeah. People love uh receiving gifts, I'm hearing. Okay. So with the moon here if you are not the one, you know, being anxious, you know, about offering something to someone, you could be the person on the receiving end, and it looks like you are completely clueless about this. <laughs> With the moon, you're absolutely clueless. And you will be until this thing happens. And it's already happened. Like I said, your higher self is already celebrating whatever this is. Your higher self is already basking <laughs> in, in victory right now, in feeling absolutely satisfied and fulfilled. You can feel that way right now. You can speak to your higher self and tell, how do you feel right now? Let me feel it too. <laughs> you know, you can ask your higher self that. How do you feel right now? Let me feel it too. Your higher self is already enjoying all the fruits of your labor. You know? Twenty-nine could be a significant number. Ten, eleven, eleven. I'm seeing fire signs, uh, specifically Aries with the tower here, um, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, what's this, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that's what I'm getting you guys, okay? So I'm going to end the reading there. If that reading resonated with you, um, you can go ahead and like the video and uh, yeah, and also support my channel by subscribing to my channel. Um, if you'd like to book a personal reading from me, you can find my email details down below in the description box. Email me there and I'll send you the rates. Thank you so much for all the bookings, for all the donations, for all the likes, for all the comments, for every single thing. I truly appreciate each and every single one of you and I will see you in my next video, okay? Bye.
High pile number two. So you guys chose Lemurian Quartz. I'm going to be channeling off this card a little bit. Okay. Someone here has an accent. A little bit. Someone here has... I'm hearing many different accents right now. But yeah, foreign accents. Um, someone here sounds like they've lived in a different country before. Okay, whoever you are, you hold a lot of esoteric... Uh, I can't... Why can't I say? <laughs> esoteric knowledge within you. There's something about... I'm, I'm being drawn to all these keys. Keys, keys, keys. Okay, keys. So someone here could be getting keys to a new house. Keys to... Or you just got keys to a new house. Keys to a new vehicle. Um, car, motorbike, whatever it is. Keys to a new studio. Keys to... You've got the keys. Keyboards, okay, I'm hearing keyboard. Yeah, piano. Keys. Uh, you could live near a key. Okay. Key or B. <laughs> Kuala Lumpur. Fun fact, Kuala Lumpur literally um, translates to mud bay. So I'm hearing <laughs> bay. I'm hearing bay. So bay. Bay. So you, yeah, you can live near bay. Lumerian Quartz. Some of you are feeling very in tune, psychic this time. I got the same, kind of the same message in pile number one too. So some of you might have been, you know, might have, you might be coming from pile number one. Okay. Enlightened. You're enlightened. You're going to be enlightened about something. Because I'm seeing like this light just like shining through some clouds here. Um, maybe you're coming out of like a really difficult time in your life. And things are looking up. You know that things are looking up. Um, you're noticing that things are looking up for you. You're noticing that things are getting better. Maybe you've been affirming better things for yourself. The morning. Someone here has been uh, waking up very early in the mornings. Someone here is a morning person. You might have a Lemurian Quartz that you're working with at the moment, and if you do have a Lemurian Quartz with you, like, yeah, use it. I'm here to meditate. I'm also hearing Quartz as in time, like, you know how you need like Quartz crystals in watches and stuff for it to, <laughs> yeah, people use Quartz crystals in watches. So I'm hearing like time. Okay, um, some of you have been like burdened by, I don't know, there's something about like wondering when something is going to happen. I think you're letting that go. I think you're surrendering, okay, to time, right? <clears throat> 31 could be a significant number and number four, okay? Four. April. Also fourth house, so I'm hearing Cancer. What's the fourth zodiac? <laughs> I'm trying to count in my head. What's the fourth zodiac? Uh, it's
Gemini. Yeah, it would be Cancer for God's sake. It's Cancer. I mean, stormy seas. Maybe you recently set, uh, spent some time near the beach while it was raining or something. Okay. Raining. Thundering. Maybe it was thundering at your place recently. Okay, someone here, I think this this pile is going to be a love reading for some reason because I'm seeing with all these pinks, okay? Someone here is feeling very romantic at this time, feeling very, uh, I want to be, I'm hearing, I want to be loved up. I want to be loved up. I want to be booed up. <laughs> Beed up. Um, yeah, okay. So we're going to go into... These oracle cards, what are they called? Prism oracle. These prism oracle cards. Okay. We have gorgeous, we have peace. Okay. Time of peace. For you. Look at these colors, they're gorgeous, oh my god, they're so pretty together. Look at that. I can't really identify what color that is. Is it mauve? Light mauve? It's like pinkish, rose? It could be, yeah. I love that. Peace. Oh, wow. You're un you've unlocked. <laughs> this peaceful state. You know how to stay uh, at peace. We have caution. Okay. <laughs> and we have passion. Okay. Passion. Right. I was saying something about love. Stop. Someone is Someone here is trying to stop themselves from um, approaching you, whoever this is, they feel really, really, like, they have the hots for you, with passion here, okay? They have an absolute crush on you, they think you're a total babe. <laughs> you, you are a babe, that's what I'm hearing. This person could be uh, fantasizing about you, but also I'm hearing like this person is actually at peace with, uh, they're coming to terms <laughs> with this, uh, um, I'm, I'm hearing something like simmering, you know, so this is kind of like bubbling up to the surface. And it's meant to be looked at. This person is trying to stop themselves because they feel cautious. I feel like someone here feels very cautious because I th yeah. there's nothing you can do to stop me. You can't do a thing to stop me. Stop in caution. I'm being drawn to that. Okay, whoever this is, they have so much passion for you. Like, they have the hearts for you. It's taking, it's taking every ounce of this person's energy to stop themselves from coming to you. They are really, really uh, intrigued by you. But, but under, like, <laughs> I, I don't know why I just heard, underneath all this desire, right, this passion, right, 
there's this desire, there's also peace that comes with this desire. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like if this desire was to be fulfilled, or if this person does fulfill their desire with you, it's going to bring them peace. But they're still a little bit cautious. Maybe they're, okay, they're going to come towards you, but I think they're going to come towards you cautiously. They're not just going to, like, jump into anything. They're not going to just, like, uh... <laughs> um, I just saw some, like, like a bull. I just heard, like, a bull in a china shop, right? Like a bull in a china shop. Yeah. They're, they're being really cautious around you. You might notice that this person um, could be very cautious around you. Whoever this is, they are trying to find the meaning of what, 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 what does it mean to be truly in love. I think this person, uh, subconsciously, this is what they truly want to feel like, being in love. Like, what does it truly feel like to be in love, you know? So, this person is trying to, you know, maybe they're trying, they're trying to brush off whatever it is they're feeling for you as passion, but then also at the same time, you bring them peace so like like there's this contrast <laughs> between the kind of energy or the kind of the, the feelings that you bring up in them you know okay so we're gonna go into tarot it's like look at this look at the colors here it's like okay I'm chill <laughs> I'm chill I'm trying to be ch so chill right now I'm so fucking chill I'm chill I'm so fucking chill you know the more you try to fucking convince yourself the more you know that you're not chill you know and we have passion here and it just goes straight up to like why <laughs> do I feel so much for you the viewer or why do I feel so much for whoever this is right so this is who you're dealing with I'm seeing a lot of fire energy. I'm seeing a lot of like also with these um, really muted colors. Could be earth, okay? It's like rose. Yeah, ro rose. Okay. True love, it is easy. But it can be though. That's a bad affirmation, actually. Don't affirm that for yourself. Don't affirm that true love is not easy. Affirm that true love is easy for you. Keep affirming that, even if you don't fucking believe it. If it's something that you want to believe in, if it's something that you want to see in your, in your life, then just affirm it. Affirm it and see what happens. Affirm it and have just... You don't even need, even need to have, like, when you're manifesting love or anything you don't have to have like all these like oh my god painful uh longing and all these emotions you what you want to do if you're manifesting if you want to manifest love in is act as if you already have it act as if like i'm already in a relationship maybe my boyfriend or my husband or whoever it is is just off traveling and i'm chilling here and i'm just excited to see him when he comes home it, it feels like that it doesn't feel like oh my god you know like all, all of these like crazy emotions don't 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 make it go there because then you know there's the, like a pendulum swing of emotions <laughs> that's what i'm hearing i don't know that could be a message for someone okay so i'm also hearing someone is absolutely manifesting you through their thoughts like they're constantly thinking of you they can't stop they want to stop but they can't <laughs> it's murder on the dance floor you make this person just like want to dance like you make this person want to 
move and shake things up, you know, that's what I'm doing. Okay. Three of Cups. We have Three of Cups under Peace. We have the Queen of Cups. Okay. Dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio here, a lot of cups coming out. And we have the Star, Aquarius Energy. All right. And bottom of the deck, we have the devil. Someone has, truly has a lot of desire for you. Look at that. Would you look at that? Look at the contrast <laughs> to everything around it. You know, this person is just like uh, desiring you. They, w they might want to, you know, uh, they might want to Yeah, the, the, it's it's something about like balancing the emotions. These high, high highs. Like this this person doesn't usually feel so intensely. You make them feel intense <laughs> emotions here, or feelings. I'm hearing like be at peace. Okay, spend spend time with more friends with your friends. <laughs> I'm hearing mermaid gang for some reason. Okay, but, yeah, spend time with your friends. Spend time with them. And then we have the Queen of Cups here, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. You could be you could be dealing with with one, someone who's more in their feminine energy. Um, th this person. Yeah, they're really like tiptoeing around their desire right now. It's like their <laughs> their desire could just go off like a bomb, you know. And then we have the star and passion. This person just like sees you as their north star. Like they they only see you. You are difficult to ignore. You cannot be ignored. There's something about star energy. You just cannot be ignored. It's not something that's just ignorable. You are non-ignorable. That's, <laughs> that's what I'm hearing. Okay. You... They're really being cautious right now. They, I think they're trying to protect like that that softy part of them with the Queen of Cups here, you know. Like this person has so much desire, but they also are afraid that, you know, because of this desire they could get hurt. Do you know what I mean? And <clears throat> Yeah, someone has to be careful here that it doesn't border on obsession because I'm seeing with the, the devil here and yeah, passion. It's like saying stop. Like, try and put a halt to that kind of energy. You can do it, I'm hearing, with determination. Okay. I'm hearing Leo energy too. Leo. So I'm gonna call out the signs. Mm. Fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, with this passion card here, all these orangey. Yeah. I'm also seeing Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, with these colors here. I'm seeing uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I'm seeing. 
Capricorn and Aquarius energy too. Okay. Someone is trying to lock something up too because I'm being drawn to the key here too. It's it's like being secretive or not wanting to speak up. But eventually they're not gonna be able to hold it in. I mean, what they have to express. <laughs> and I don't know, sexual energy, whatever it is, right? <coughs> I'm seeing three friends. You spend more time with your... With, pe with people you're close to. Okay, so pile number two, I'm going to end the reading there. Uh, thank you so much for coming to my reading. Um, if it resonated with you, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and also hit that notification bell so you guys get notified of future uploads. If you'd like to book a personal reading for me, you can find my email details down below in the description box. Email me there and I'll send you the rates. Thank you so much for all the bookings, for all the donations, for all the likes, for all the comments, for every single thing. I truly, truly appreciate each and every single one of you and I will see you in my next video.